From Benil Dariush going for Gaethje because he's a scary man, to Eddie Alvarez favoring Poirier in terms of pure skill, here are all the pros picks for the UFC 291 bout between Dustin Poirier and Justin Gaethje. Their first meeting in 2018 was obviously a legendary scrap, with many people calling it the fight of the century. What do you get when you throw the same two beasts into the cage again? You get another fight of the century. And that, folks, is exactly what Drew Dober thinks will happen too. Speaking in an interview with the Schmo, he talked about how everyone's been dying to see this matchup again. After all, the first one was a banger, not only for the people watching, but for Poirier and Gaethje too. Oh, and get this, while that first bout definitely put these two on the radar for a lot of people, Dober thinks this fight's impact will be even more significant. In fact, he said that the fight will do some bigger things for these fighters and alluded to a potential title chance in the future. That being said, the matchup is too close for Dober to go either way. So all he's hoping for is a good fight. Benil Dari Yuish, on the other hand, does have a favorite for the fight. And well, he thinks Gaethje's got the edge on this one. Now, Dari Yuish also went into the legacy of this rivalry, claiming that this'll be a beautiful fight like the one before it. But even though Poirier came out on top in 2018, Benny thinks that Gaethje's really stepped up his game now. And that, folks, is what makes him a scary man, according to Dariush. What's more, the lightweight fighter also added that Justin's a bit more hungry these days, especially compared to Poirier. So, these factors combined make him the favorite in Dariush's eyes. Although, obviously, desire and hunger alone can't make you win fights. So, Brian Ortega's got another reason why Gaethje will beat Poirier. And according to him, it all comes down to his fighting style. Yep, Ortega said that whenever Gaethje shows up, he shows up to fight. So, he's not gonna take this lightly either and is gonna be on his game from round one. I mean, Ortega's not wrong, is he? On one side, you've got this super aggressive fighter in Poirier, who's even been described as a dog by many people. Gaethje, on the other hand, is a lot more technical and likes to feel the rhythm in the ring. He gets fully absorbed into his fights and actually enjoys them while he's at it. Oh, and let's not forget the highlight's biggest strength, his vicious leg kicks. Seriously, he's relentless when it comes to that stuff and makes sure that his opponent doesn't even get a chance to stand on his feet and get his bearings. Of course, it didn't quite work out the last time he tried it against Poirier, but like I've said before, a lot has changed since then, and Gaethje's in great shape right now. I mean, you've just got to look at his last fight against Rafael Fiziev, because not only was he on top for the majority of that contest, but he also showed that he's fully recovered from that devastating UFC 274 loss against Charles Oliveira. Oh, and I'm not the only one saying it. UFC lightweight Jalen Turner also echoed the same sentiments during his interview. He's also leaning toward Justin because of the form he's shown over the past year. Seriously, it's almost as if the dude's been working really hard to improve his game and has eliminated a lot of weaknesses in his game, especially when it comes to defending himself against a flurry of quick attacks. So, Turner believes that if Gaethje can fine-tune some things from his fight against Fiziev, it's going to be very hard for Poirier to overpower him this time around. Now, a lot of people are giving it to Justin, which, again, is fair when you think about it. That said, it's also a bit disingenuous to Poirier, who's proven in the past just how good a fighter he is. I mean, the dude basically had Gaethje's number during their previous bout. And sure, the circumstances are different this time around, but we've all got to remember that their first meeting will also have an effect on them mentally, which may just sway things a bit in Poirier's favor. Then again, revenge is a strong motivator, and Gaethje's gonna make sure he evens up the score against Dustin. I mean, things really are intense coming into this bout, with the UFC boss Dana White claiming that the matchmaking meeting for this one was like war room sh**. Of course, pride is on the line here, but even more importantly, we've got the return of the BMF title. Oh, and if you don't know what that is, then buckle up, because it's literally called the baddest motherfucker title. Introduced back in 2019 during UFC 244, the gimmick belt's been on the line only once, in a matchup between Jorge Masvidal and Nate Diaz. But Masvidal's retirement means that Dana White sees it as yet another opportunity to attach stakes to this bout. Now, White said that people have no idea just how many fighters want to compete for the BMF title, which makes this rematch all the more special. What's more, 
The UFC president also talked about how Diaz and Masvidal were the perfect contenders for the belt the first time around. And just like that, Poirier and Gaethje are also the two right guys for the second BMF title fight. That being said, while White's pretty high on the gimmick of this belt, Gaethje thinks it's stupid. In fact, even when the belt was first introduced in the Masvidal and Diaz bout, he said it was dumb. That being said, he's still not opposed to the overall idea of it. After all, it is a championship at the end of the day, which means pay-per-view points. Not to mention, when you're a champion, everyone looks at you differently and you get paid more. So even if the concept is wacky, Gaethje's still grateful for the opportunity. Oh, and get this, a belt is kinda necessary anyway, because he believes the bout will also live up to its hype. Yep, speaking in an interview with MMA Fighting, Justin said that a fight between the number two and number three contenders in the UFC 155 pound rankings makes perfect sense. Plus, it's not like Poirier's got anyone else lined up to fight anyway. So for Gaethje, this is not only a rematch, but also a title contention fight. After all, with the exception of Oliveira and Dariush, one of these two should be the next in line for the lightweight championship. Although, Gaethje did also mention that Poirier actually wasn't too keen on fighting him initially. Why? Well, you don't want to rematch if you win the first big fight. Not to mention, Poirier's arguably going into this as the underdog. Having said that, he doesn't actually care about any of that speculation. In fact, he's embracing the fact that it's going to be a difficult fight. Speaking with Ariel Helwani during the MMA hour, Poirier talked about how he wants to feel nervous about a fight. You know, a fight like Michael Chandler, Conor McGregor, or Justin Gaethje. Something that can really give you butterflies in your stomach. So, according to Dustin, those are the fights he lives for. What's more, Poirier also mentioned how he's incredibly excited and motivated for the Gaethje bout. Because he feels like he has his best days in the octagon when the odds are stacked against him. The Diamond then called it a head-on collision and said he's not turning away from this one at all. I mean, the dude's super pumped for the bout and it shows in his demeanor, which can only mean good things for the audience as well. Besides, even if Gaethje has improved a lot over the past few years and is in pole position to get his revenge, he still can't defeat Dustin Poirier in one aspect pure skill, and I'm not the one saying it. This revelation comes straight from the former UFC lightweight champ Eddie Alvarez, who if you remember has fought both of these guys. So he knows what he's talking about while weighing his options. And in a recent interview he said that as far as the skill for skill battle is concerned, Dustin Poirier wins it every single day of the week. But wait, before you start betting money on the diamond based on this prediction, hear this out. Alvarez thinks that, in spite of Poirier's more skillful approach, he's still gonna end up losing the bout. And you know why? Well, he said that the sheer will and desire that Justin's got just cannot be undermined. I mean, Gaethje is known for his emotions taking control over his body during bouts. But if Poirier's careful and comes into the fight fully prepared, then he could easily exploit this supposed strength and turn it into a weakness. So, it's anyone's fight, really. And there you have it. From Eddie Alvarez favoring Poirier in terms of pure skill to Benil Dariush going for Gaethje because he's a scary man, those were all the pros picks for the UFC 291 bout between Dustin Poirier and Justin Gaethje.